there's something strange happening in our solar system right now, something that no one, not even the most advanced space agencies can fully explain. It's called 3 Eye Atlas, an interstellar visitor traveling between worlds. At first, scientists thought it was just another comet, a frozen relic drifting through the void. But as the James Webb Telescope and other observatories turned their instruments toward it, everything we thought we knew about this object began to collapse. It glows when it shouldn't, it moves when it shouldn't, it behaves like it's aware of being watched. And now the latest data from the James Webb Telescope suggests that something truly bizarre is happening, something that could change how we understand not just comets, but the very idea of intelligence in the cosmos. In the deserts of Namibia, astrophotographers under a lunar eclipse captured what no one expected to see, a brilliant emerald glow radiating from three-eye atlas as it passed silently through the dark sky. Normally that color is caused by diatomic carbon, C2 molecules reacting to ultraviolet sunlight, but spectroscopic readings showed a shocking absence of C2. In other words, there was no carbon capable of producing that green light. The object was glowing in a way that defied chemistry. Even stranger, the emission wasn't constant. It pulsed rhythmically every few seconds like a heartbeat echoing through space. Some scientists suggested exotic radiation or metallic fluorescence. Others whispered about technology, an artificial process controlling light at an atomic level. Whatever the cause, one fact became impossible to ignore. Three Eye Atlas was glowing in a way no natural object ever had. When the James Webb Telescope analyzed the light spectrum from Three Eye Atlas, it found something even more puzzling. High concentrations of nickel and carbon dioxide, but almost no water vapor. That's the exact opposite of what a comet should contain. Metals like nickel only vaporize at extreme heat near the sun. Yet this object was releasing them while still between Mars and Jupiter. To make things worse, the ratio of CO2 to H2O was completely reversed. For a comet, that's like finding smoke without fire. Theories began to spiral out of control. Was 3Y Atlas generating its own heat? Was it hollow? Could it be emitting exhaust? The combination of nickel and CO2 was too specific to ignore. Both are byproducts of combustion in high-performance alloys. Some physicists quietly admitted that the spectral readings looked disturbingly similar to what you'd expect from an engine plume. And yet the object continued its motion with unnatural calm, showing no trace of acceleration or instability. In space, no object moves perfectly straight except 3 Eye Atlas. For months, it maintained a trajectory so precise that even NASA's supercomputers struggled to account for it. Normal comets wobble and drift due to jets of vapor pushing them off course, a phenomenon known as non-gravitational acceleration. But this object has remained nearly motionless relative to its predicted orbit, deviating by less than two kilometers per day, 100 times more stable than any comet ever observed. It's as if it's correcting itself, staying locked to a specific route through the solar system. Astronomers began comparing it to Oumuamua and Borisov, two previous interstellar visitors. But even those displayed erratic behavior. Thrikai, Atlas in contrast, behaves more like something being guided, holding position, conserving energy, adjusting just enough to stay on course. If it were a spacecraft, this is exactly how it would fly, silent, deliberate, and efficient. The question is, toward what? Then came the discovery that sent shockwaves through the astronomy community. When scientists retraced 3 Eye Atlas's trajectory, they realized it wasn't random. Its point of origin aligned almost perfectly with the constellation Sagittarius, the same region of space from which the mysterious WOW signal was detected in 1977. That 72-second burst of narrowband radio waves remains one of the most compelling mysteries in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The signal's frequency, 1420 mHz, is the same as hydrogen's natural emission line, the universal marker of intelligent communication. Now half a century later, an interstellar object is passing through our solar system from that exact same direction. Could the two events be connected? Could 3 Eye Atlas be the physical counterpart of that message, a vessel carrying the same origin code as the WOW signal itself? NASA has avoided the question, but the James Webb Telescope continues to watch, recording new anomalies every day, as if something inside this object is awakening. 
as 3i Atlas drifted past Mars's orbital path, the James Webb Telescope's infrared sensors picked up something no one expected, a rhythmic modulation hidden within the object's glow. At first, it looked like ordinary noise, but as researchers filtered out cosmic interference, the pattern emerged clearly, a pulse repeating every 21 seconds, consistent across multiple wavelengths. It wasn't random radiation. It was ordered, deliberate and mathematically precise. The pattern wasn't originating from the sun or reflected sunlight. It was coming from inside the object. When the pulse was converted into sound frequencies, it produced a low hum that fluctuated like a coded message. Some scientists dismissed it as magnetic resonance from metallic minerals, but others recognized something far stranger. The pulse intervals corresponded to the same numerical sequence encoded within the WOW. Signal. The realization was inescapable. Whatever was emitting that light wasn't just reacting to the environment, it was communicating. And the James Webb had become its accidental listener. A comet typically gets brighter and hotter as it approaches the sun, but 3i Atlas broke that rule completely. As it moved deeper into the inner solar system, instead of heating up, its surface temperature began to stabilize, even cool, in perfect equilibrium with the surrounding vacuum. The James Webb Telescope recorded a thin layer of material forming around the object, reflecting sunlight in irregular pulses. Spectral analysis revealed it wasn't dust or ice, but a dense metallic vapor, behaving more like an energy field than a gas. It seemed to absorb solar radiation and re-emit it in precise harmonic waves, almost like a shield adapting to changing conditions. Inside that shell, the core of the object remained dark, invisible to all sensors. This anti-thermal behavior made no physical sense. It was as though the object had recognized the sun's energy as a threat and was protecting itself. The stability of its rotation and thermal profile were unlike anything natural, more like a vessel regulating its own temperature, conserving energy for something yet to come. Then came the rotation shift. Over a span of 48 hours, the James Webb recorded a dramatic change in the object's spin pattern. The rotation slowed by nearly 20%, then abruptly reversed, a feat that should be physically impossible for any unpowered body of that size. The data shocked even the mission engineers. The only plausible explanation was an internal mechanism, something capable of manipulating the object's momentum with extraordinary precision. Following the reversal, the infrared pulse pattern changed as well, its timing now perfectly synchronized with the object's new rotation. It was as if the two phenomena were connected, forming a continuous feedback loop, rotation controlling emission, emission controlling energy output. NASA attempted to classify the event as thermal torque instability, a known effect caused by uneven heating, but Webb's readings told a different story. The object wasn't destabilizing, it was calibrating. Each rotation seemed to align with gravitational vectors pointing toward the sun, then toward Earth. It wasn't tumbling randomly through space. It was orienting itself. As the object stabilized after its rotation reversal, the James Webb Telescope finally captured a clear image of 3i Atlas's nucleus using its near-infrared camera. What appeared on the data feed stunned everyone in the control room. The nucleus wasn't spherical like a comet, nor elongated like Oumuamua. It was geometric, a near-perfect hexagon, its edges sharp and symmetrical, glowing faintly with the same spectral fingerprint as its metallic vapor field. 